Hey everyone. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to recover deleted photos um, that you may have lost or accidentally deleted um, off your um, system. So if you've already, you know, obviously the first thing you want to do is just check Windows and, and go into uh, My Documents and My Pictures and make sure the, the files aren't there or if you may have left them on your desktop. Um, if you've kind of done all the basic um, searching for your folders in Windows and you can't find it, uh, or if you suspect that you may have deleted the file, then uh, that's what this video is about. It's about showing you how to uh, recover the file um, once it's been deleted or you, or you suspect that it's, that it's gone um, out of its location because of being deleted or cleaned up by some software program or something like that. So we're going to be uh, using data recovery software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to uh, recovermyfilesnow.com um, slash photos and you'll see the link um, below this video. Uh, you can just click on it there and it'll take you there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, we're going to do a download of this uh, free software um, that actually does the data recovery. And that's really the only way to recover data once it's been uh, deleted and emptied out of the recycle bin is uh, you have to use special software. And I like using this software. This is uh, by a company called Pareto Logic. Um, they're very, um, a very good company, been around a long time, and uh, better business accredited. Microsoft partner, you know that their products work with Windows. Um, you also know they're not going to be full of uh, spyware and junk like that. So go ahead and go to the link below the video, recovermyfilesnow.com slash photos. Um, click on the, the big green button, the free download. Go ahead and download it. Get the software installed, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, once you have the software installed, just uh, go ahead and launch it. And the first screen you're going to see is um, the this is just the the welcome screen. And there's a few different options here, and some different things you can do. Um, I'm going to show you the quickest way to to look for your your um, your files. So there's a couple different tabs here. You can scan, do advanced, email, about. So if you're looking for emails that are missing, you can always use that tab. So this software isn't just for photos. It's for any kind of file that you ever may delete in Windows. So you can use it, you know, for forever. Um, and you can do a quick scan, a full scan, a guided scan. Um, in this case, we're looking for photos. And I know that I, in this case, I'm, I'm going to um, use a... Um, um, a thumb drive that I've deleted some photos off of so I can show you how the software works. So what I usually do is I hit the go to the advanced tab here and there's it shows all of your different drives that are available and, uh, and what you can scan. Um, if, you're, if you do know the file name you can put that in here. Um, you don't necessarily have to unless it's a really large drive you're trying to scan. So I typically leave these just checked like this. And in this case, I'm going to go for that thumb drive, which is my K drive. So I'm going to uncheck all of these. Okay, except for the K drive. So we're going to be scanning the K drive in this case. Okay, and uh, once you select, once you have your selection, selections here, you just do uh, hit the Start Scan button, and then start scanning that that device to see what items are on there. Now in this case I I had put nine photos on this drive and deleted them so but it did find those nine so they were permanently deleted um, the recycle bin emptied everything so just for the sake of this demonstration um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel here so we have images and then once you have those images um, the, the software will break them down it'll say um, see like this line item says images, there'll be another line item if it was a video. It'll put, all, it'll organize them all like that for you so it makes it a lot easier to find. So in this case you can, you can expand it and you can see which files it recovered. <coughs> well not recovered, the files that, it, that can be recovered. So you can hover over, if you notice, I'm hovering over, you can see um, it gives you like a preview. So if you don't know the name of the file for some reason, you can just quickly preview to see what it is and see which ones you want, to, you want to recover. Now once you decide to recover the, f the files, you just click on whichever file you want to cover or files. Okay, we'll do the first two. And then you click the uh, recover button here. Now before you do that, see where the file uh, location is. I have it set to, to, to um, recover in this specific folder. It's called recovered items. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to recover those files and dump them in that folder. So what you do is you press recover 
And once you do that, it recovers the files, dumps them in this Windows folder. So you can access them and put them wherever you need to. Now one thing to keep in mind, um, while the software is free to download and free to run the scan, um, you will have to register the software to recover the, the photos. Um, but the good thing is with the software is you can run the scan, make sure the, the files are recoverable before you register the software. Because obviously you don't want to you know, go through all that if, if the photos aren't even there. So I hope this helps you and uh, good luck.